are recording this now. Welcome to the some ads and before we start we want to share some wins so we want to share some wins big small even if it's work related even on work related i know Fuku got um promoted you got promoted correct you want Woo! To if she can talk <laughs> do you want me to talk sure, if you want if you can okay um yeah, I got, um, I'm the first Muslim to be manager in my center, which is amazing because we need good feedback on, especially our community, um, which is really, 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 really good. Um, and they want me to train me to actually be higher than a management job. Woo! I'm really, really, really excited about that. Alhamdulillah. Congratulations. Um, Thank you, thank you so much. I'm really, really excited. I, and, and the funny thing is, you know how I you were talking about affirmation and I was like, I'm very skeptical. I just think, you know, I, was, I told you this, um, Abbas and Safa about it before, how I'm very skeptical about it. And do you know what? It's so funny because um, when I got promoted, I was, I wanted to celebrate. So I took my kids, my two boys out for dessert after dinner and like an idiot I locked myself and my kids outside in the dark oh, no lights no nothing and I come seeing through the window of our French doors the keys on the kitchen table and my six seventeen year old kept saying I oh, just break the window break the window you can get in and I said you know what I can do this I can do this and then my son taught him my 17 year old son watches too much movies. He thought he'd get it a pin and pick the lock thinking he's Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yes. So then I, well, I just, in my heart, I just said, you know what? I can do this. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to open the door. So I got a, a screwdriver, lift up the door, the glass door and lifted it up and then shook it. And then the hinge fell off. It was like, yay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Like affirmation oh, yeah. does work. Affirmation does work. <laughs> That's a win. <laughs> oh my god! I was so like, I was so scared. And the kids were like, and alhamdulillah, it only took us fifteen minutes to get back in the house because there's no speaking. So you're a good thing. That's good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're good at breaking the stuff. Oh yeah. Come on, guys. Yes, come on. Nothing. One love, one nothing. No win. Say that, girl. You alive every day. That's a win. What about chopsticks? Yeah. I know. Baka, share your win. Besides hanging out with me 24 7. True. Everybody. Becoming our um, part of the family. I don't know yeah, what it is. See, me and her best, we hang out, but we, we, you know, like, we, we get close to comfortable friends. So I, I kind of I've drifted off to business, but then, you know, what? we have to stick to business more. <laughs> but, uh, like, the vibe with our best is good, and, I've, yeah, I've got, like, running, fixing up my ads, and getting a lot of leads, and, um, you know, I've got a few sign-ups, and getting more confident. I believe it's just... Two minutes, I'll give you some advice. Yeah? Or just a win. Whatever you want, man. You this want. Take the stage. What, I'll tell you is what, what I've learned. What I've learned is um, I blame myself at the end of the day because other people, uh, it's working. So I blame myself and laziness. Laziness, you know, not having a schedule, not planning, like just not doing anything. Just doing what I usually do is just do whatever. Like, you know, whatever the day goes, I wake up, not organized, don't know what I'm doing. But when I start, like, you know, checking my ads, so you got to check your ads, what's going on. Like, if that's not working, just change them straight away. Get more confident to talk into the people. And when, when, I, when I felt like I didn't care, I don't need you. If someone says anything that I don't care, I find the, the results, you get results from there. So, like, you know, really important scheduling, schedule your day, like routine, and just checking your ads and talk to people. And try to like, you know, be in their shoes and and don't care. So there's a lot of people in there. When you try to chase, 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 and that you scare the people away. 
That's it, yeah. That's it. Yeah, legend. It was so true, man. Like, show people that you give a shit about them and put them on a pedestal and that's all that You know, just listen to what they want. And, you know, yeah. you know if, if you can help them, help them. If you can't help them, tell them the truth. If you can't help them, it's not for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can help them. I think if you can resonate with someone from the other side, yeah. it will truly, really transform you and transform how you, um, you know, like, protrude on the other side. Like, it... it it shows you how you um, visualize on the other side. So if you're able to resonate with someone on the other side, make them feel like you can help them, then that's, that's a win. That's the secret to this business. So we're all here trying to change lives, but if you guys don't learn and study how to speak to people, it's kind of useless. When 95% of the time, we need to be able to learn how to speak to people in a way where they're going to listen. You know, being an energetic person or, you know, having a certain energy about you is sometimes not enough. You need to be able to go and not worry about, you need to be, sorry, you need to go out and do the extra mile, the extra percent to be able to. <coughs> and sometimes, um, <coughs> and sometimes um, you know, it, it might not, you know, it might not happen overnight, but as long as you can. I keep um, what's it called? That's all that matters. And um, Baka, do you want to share your with? My win. Yeah. Your sign ups. I think you mentioned it. Yes, I've had like I've got now like today three sign ups, and looks like there's going to be like probably another two. So I'm trying to push five today. Oh, and, uh, day, it's huh? good. Like it feels good. It feels good. Um, but like you know, probably because I've been in this been here a few months. Uh, I so once you get a few, like I've set myself go. I, I I need more. So you know that's how I feel. Like I've got a few, but I, I feel like I'm still behind. But I'm gonna so that motivates me. So I'm gonna get more. Baka, show people your goals, your vision board. Is the camera good quality? Yeah. yeah. I got the same the, the Logitech. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> that's his goals, his eyes. All right. I yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. if you don't have a vision board in tap, this is what you guys need. Uh, so that's my check. I got a $10 million check. That's in wow. my name. $10 million check. I, I was going to get $100 million, but I said, hello, a little bit, $10 million will be all right for now. <laughs> for now, yeah, sure. So your family financially free. And then that's going to be just a, just a car hack to on the weekend. This will be my everyday car, just to yeah. go for work. That's for summer. Go out, take the family out. That's my um, jet ski. And then I'm gonna. I like Dubai. I want to go to Dubai. And I've got here my website, what I've built, and nice. just and some goals. You know what I want to do I'm for the expiry date. I need to lose weight. I need to do this. I need to do that. You know, a few things I've done, and I'm gonna add more too. So I've got a few more to add. But yeah. Well done. See, you know, everyone needs to have a vision board. If you don't have a vision board, please make one. That's ours. We will. We and then it's not mo finished. Monthly goals, three months goals, six months, eight months, one year. It's all there. Everything and then goes. not only do I write, goals, yeah, yeah goals, we have daily goals. goals over there. Not only do we put through, put what we want to do, we put it how we're going to get it. You're not going to do it by looking at the wall. You guys need to be able to put pen to paper what you guys want out of life. You need to be able to look at it every single day and that's what you're looking for. When times get tough, you look at that vision board. That's what's going to change yeah. everything for you. Because your goals don't give a shit about, you know, what you're going through. You know, it has to be done. You know what I mean? But, but that's what it is about your goals. You know, they don't care if you're depressed. They don't care if you better shit. They don't care if your boss you like shit. Your goals have to be done. You know, because then that visa, your goals, that's what, what you really, really want. So fuck, you know, excuse my French word. Who cares what you guys for that day? Because your goals are very important. If, you, if it's important, you still go through it, no matter what. Because it's your goals. That's what you want. That's exactly right. So don't stop. All right, guys. Does anyone else have any, any wins? Thank you, Baka, for that. I just want to say something. Um, everybody is just is happy when you fail. Like They, they laugh at you. You know, They're going to, what's this online? What are you doing? Ha, ha, ha. Laughing at you. You know, So it motivates you. So you're going to get... Every, the only positive people is probably the team. That's, right, you know, you it's funny, you know positive. why? It's all positive. It's all yeah, negative. So I can get rid of that. So then prove them wrong. Those people are the closest people. Yeah. And, uh, especially the Arabs. 
Wallah, the closest people to you, they laugh at you when you fail. I thought it was going to be 6A in, a, in one month because of all the people that are going to support me, but, you know? <laughs> so it's all right, you should see it by yourself, man. It's all right. I can say hello now, but you can always run the people supporting you, so you, you actually realise it's there for you. Yeah. It's okay. Try it yeah. out. That's really you pick up a lot more people on the way, but it doesn't matter. Trust me. Trust me, you do. And that's like I'm talking about from experience, guys. Mm. I started... Yeah. I can honestly say I started this year with about five friends. Guess how much I have now? No. I started this. No, hold on. What I meant. Started this business with no friends online. I have 99.9 of my friends are online. 1% is my husband. <laughs> it's the way it is. You're going to leave the people behind because what happens is you vibrate at a sort of frequency. And you're going to leave other people behind. People can't keep up with your vibe. People can't pick up, keep up with your life. And you, what happens is you're like, you're too much of a complainer. I can't deal with you. You don't want to change your life. You just do, all you do is complain, complain, complain. You don't want to change your life. So the people that are complainers are not going to get anywhere online. That's the honest truth. Okay. And thank you so much, Baka, for sharing that. We're going to get straight into it because I want to get, be able to get straight into it. I'm going to share my screen. The reason why I'm sharing my screen, guys, is I'm going to actually show you my ads. And I'm going to be able to show you why. Sorry, I'm just going to close all these. I'm going to show you how to effectively make a ad. Now, if you're running an ad with no photo, don't do it. You need to be at running an ad with a photo. Okay. Now, with of yourself, most likely, something that's eye-catching. So I'm going to start by, for example, showing you... Well, people don't know me. Hold up. I'm just going to maximise this. I don't think you will with this, Abbas. All right, so this is one of my ads. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through why this is... A, I know it is. I'm just going to get rid of it. The reason why this is an ad. Now, I want you guys to take notes. If you don't know how to write an active, probably good ad, I want you to, I want you to um, pay attention. Okay, so if you guys get a pen and paper, that'll be great. Otherwise, this will be recorded anyway. So when you guys are making an ad, you need a very, very, very strong title. And usually what this means is the first four lines is so powerful, it will capture everyone's attention. So I'm going to read you guys my ads and you guys can make do with what you want of it. Okay? Imagine this. Waking up with no alarm clock, nowhere to be, no one to answer to, no boss, boss calling you. Why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? Imagine this. You open up your bank account without the fear, without the stress, without the pause. Imagine this, you book a plane ticket to anywhere in the world, who will you go with? So where would you go? Who will you go with? How would you spend your time? Can you imagine? Not yet. Let me paint a picture for you. I grew up in a household where money was tight, where the money we used, we had was used for necessities and we had no extra money ever. Mom working 14 hour days, seven days a week in the most backbreaking industries um, because Backpacking industries. You had to pick your mum up every single time she was fired because she had no control over how many times her boss fired her for her amusement. She wanted to be there for you, for your achievements, for your success, but she wasn't able to because money always won every single time. At this point, I learned the value of money really quick because most of the time we're spending stressing over what needs to be paid and how it's going to be paid for until she collapsed. The one person you always looked up to, relied on, collapsed. She couldn't physically nor mentally do it anymore, so she gave up. At the age of 18, I became homeless. I lived out of my car while the whole world turned their backs on me. People close to me pretended I didn't exist. They turned a blind eye. Until I, re I started to work three jobs to pick myself back up. Imagine that. An 18-year-old living off four hours of sleep, working seven days a week. It suddenly hit me that I was doing the exact same thing my mum did. During the years, I learned that the only person that's going to pick myself up is me. Life throws you different opportunities. Life throws you in different situations. Life throws you different perspectives, not to punish you, but to push you forward to success. So naturally, I started a career in children's services. 
I studied it for four years, worked in it for six. You quickly realize that no matter how hard you work, how hard, how many, sorry, no, no matter how many hours you put into the most breaking industries, no matter how much dedication and passion you put into your job, the pay is the same, the position is the same, no matter where you work, it's always the same. So I looked into a new way to give my life a new and improved meaning. I wanted to give something that would work for me, not me work for it. I looked for an income that I can generate from anywhere in the world. I found it. Fast forward to now. I am my own boss. I pick my own hours. I work from home. I have hit goals and financial freedom. I have no alarm clock. I can open my bank account with any pause or stress. I take holidays wherever and whenever I want. I invite you to take back your freedom. I invite you to take a step out of your comfort zone and I invite you to take charge of your life. If you want the same freedom, comment below success and I'll reply to you. And that's the photo. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this ad is because this ad right here is probably one of my best ads I've ever written. Now, I'm not telling you guys to boast or bad. Now, the reason why it's the best, um, uh, sorry, the best ad I've ever written is because it has so many pain and pleasure points. It plays off each other really well. You've got so, the problem to imagine, you know, people actually, we've done that, they actually imagine it, like, imagine this, imagine that. So if I told you right now, imagine this, wouldn't you mm. literally force yourself to imagine? Mm. Yes, it's because this word mm. has a certain value of two subconscious minds. Two subconscious minds. Imagine this, and then I say, imagine this, imagine this. Mm. Hey, baby. So, so I want to, sorry, I'm all right. So I continue to say, imagine this, imagine this, imagine this. So what happens is it's a trick of a trade. When you tell someone to imagine this and you repeat it three or four times, you're forced to bring people back to a sense of beginning. So see how I start this as imagine this? I'll start this paragraph with imagine this. And I'll start this paragraph with imagine this. So I make them feel like, you know, imagine this and then come back and resolute your, your thoughts. Re like, you know, get back in, gather your thoughts and then come back. Imagine this and come back and imagine this. I continue to think why it's called high, um, hypnotic writing. Learn it, study it, implement it. It's called hypnotic writing. Specific words have a certain play in our minds. When I say humiliate, give me a sec. So when I say, obviously I repeat myself, the word, the, when I repeat myself or repeat something, it has a certain embeddedness in someone's mind. What I do here is, if you can't imagine, let me paint a picture for you. So it's a sort of... Um, if you can't imagine, obviously they have by now. And then what happens is I tell my story. So I tell them why and what happened to me in my life. And this is all pain points because what happens is single moms, anyone with a one um, income household, anyone that's, you know, been a real, in, a, in a really tough position, anyone that's, you know, come from a broken household, the foster parents, or whatever, is going to resonate with this. All right. When I say learn the value of money, everyone knows the value of money because everyone's struggling these days. And then I say things about their mum, my mum, and then I tell people how, I, like, I, I get really deep. And by the way, this is actually a true story. So I actually tell my story. I don't go out and fake something. If something hasn't happened to you, you don't go fake it. You tell your story how it is. And the way I say it is, I tell my girls, when you, uh, I tell everyone, like all my girls, when you guys are writing a story, pinpoint the most traumatic past, past thing that have happened to you and try your best to play off that, okay? Don't use something that's happened to someone else. Always use things that have happened to you because every single person is going to resonate and every single person has a story to tell, okay? Um, and then obviously when I said it hit me that my, I was doing the exact same thing my mom did, the reader has already realized that, but before they realized that, they realized it before I said this. 
okay? And then during my years, I learned that the only person I was going to pick myself up is me. Life throws in different opportunities, situations, different perspectives, not to punish you, but to push you forward to success. What am I doing here? I'm giving a call to action before the real call to action. How I'm doing it is I'm telling the reader, you are going to pick up yourself. You're going to take this opportunity. You're going to change your life. You're going to change your um, perspective and you're going to push forward to success. I'm qualifying before the real qualifying. And then I tell myself a little bit more. Pre-qualify. Um, so I told my story a little bit more before I realized I tell everyone, I just changed everything and it was still the same. So even if you go and do another job, it's still the same. So don't go thinking and fooling yourself that even if you go pick up another job that's the exact same, it's not going to be any different. It's always different. I look for a new way of meaning of life and then income I can generate from anywhere in the world. Also, very big, long call to action here. This is all a call to action. I tell them that I have no more alarm clock. I open my bank account with a pause and stress and I take holidays and wherever I like. I've also said it here. Again, repetition. Okay. Now I'm not saying to you guys, your ad's going to be the exact same. Don't make the ad the same. Make it in a way where people are going to resonate with you because of your pain and pleasure points in your life. Okay. And then there's a certain way it, um, it, there's a certain way it, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought, um, you know, is interpreted on the other side. So just make sure your all call to action is strong. For anyone that's only getting likes, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll explain it. If you're only getting likes on your um, ad, it's because your call to action isn't strong enough. So people are just liking the photo without realizing what it's about. Either this isn't strong enough or this isn't strong enough. Either your beginning or your end isn't strong enough. So go back and reevaluate. Now let me talk to you guys about photos. I don't take the best photos. I don't. This was actually taken off my iPad. Okay? The reason I tell you guys about your photos, your photos will make or break your ad. Your photos need to be so eye-catching and so different they're going to stop people in their tracks. So don't be afraid to go out and look for photos that are going to stop people in your tracks. Go and actually do the work. Don't use a photo that was, that's outdated that you used four years ago. No, no, no. Whenever me and Abbas do a, uh, an ad, we actually go take a photo for that ad. Well, sometimes, to be completely honest with you, we actually go for content every Wednesday. So if I, if I, like, unless there's, there was actually one ad that I actually planned the photo shoot for, and I'll, tell you, I'll show you what later, okay? Your photo, and your, your photo and your ad copy need to match. There's no such thing as saying you're a, a tattoo artist and then taking a photo with farm animals. It doesn't match. You need to be congruent. It needs to be, it needs to be, it needs to be eye-catching. So um, on my YouTube channel, if you guys don't know how to edit photos, I have two very good informational videos that show you how to, one, edit on Photoshop and two, edit on Snapseed. Go watch them. Go do your training. Go evaluate how you're taking the photos. The way you take your photos can make and break your business. Okay? That's what I want to say about ad copies. Does anyone have any questions? If you do, just unmute yourself. Yeah, if you do, please unmute yourself. No, I'm the same time, please. Do I have any 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 questions? Good, you're all professional. All right, cool. So you're all professional. <laughs> so you guys are all professional about writing ads. Wait. Um, all professionals. <laughs> huh? Ask the question. No, yeah, go. Oh, um, I'm finding out how to pin my ad on top of my um my page. I don't know why. Like it's. Are you doing? You have to off a computer. Are you doing off a computer? Um, I haven't. I haven't tried it, but is the option there on the computer? Yes, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you now. 
Yeah. Only on the computer, yeah. Only on the computer, yeah, babe. Hold up. Okay. Because what happens is your ad should always be pinned to the top of your page. So, say for example, this is not. This is I just posted a thing pinned to the top of page. Oh, See okay. that? And that's it. And it's just always pinned to the top of the page. You can't do it on your phone, and you can only do it off there. Now, I'm going to go through the little steps for writing a perfect ad without reading it. One, sick ass photo. Two. Awesome ass headline. Three, pain points. Four, rhetorical questions. Five, use statistics. Don't be afraid to use statistics, but in the right position. It needs to be congruent. Don't give me a statistic about bank accounts and, and then write, you know, like tell me that, um, I don't know. If I can... Um Smartphones have been, um, you know, more than 60% bought in the last five years. Don't tell me that. You need to be congruent and you need to go with thing if you want to use statistics, okay? Now, I'm going to have the boss right here show you and tell you guys how to scale your ads because it makes no sense if you guys don't know how to put up your ads. Now, if you're new, it's okay. You'll get this. It's not a first-time thing. How to make an ad or scale? Scale ad. So let's scale ad. Okay, what to look for? Of course. Well, scaling obviously means um, when the ad's running well, you just start to scale. You start putting more money up. Okay, on. boss. Please. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just asking you, I mean, does it show them how to scale? No, show them. Tell what, them. What's tell the good them. ad? Um, the, probably our best ad right now is a child care ad. Or just show them the, um, yeah, that should be that now. All my success ads. Mm. All right, guys. So make sure you guys have fixed up your columns. Okay, fixed up your columns. We've told everyone that everyone needs to. Fix up their columns the way Shauna puts up the columns because you guys need to be able to see and actually see what attract your success, guys. Maybe it's because it's online. Does it matter? No, go for it. Yeah, all right, just give me a sec, guys. Who has the columns already set up? Um, I know Baka does, I know Yusuf does. Is that correct, Yusuf and Baka? Is your columns already set up? Yeah, well, they should. I told everyone to set up their columns. Also, everyone needs to set up a pixel. Yeah, put pixel definitely helps. And we'll tell so you why. What pixel is, is this like a thing that tracks where everyone's coming from. Like it pinpoints, an example, if someone, like you're getting more audience from the car industry and it shows you where they're coming from, what days they're coming from, what time is more active, what age is more active. It just helps you out like a, you know, like, like a pro. I mean, it makes life easier for you. So you know, after five, six, seven months when you, your page has been running, you realize, you know, which is your better audience. Instead of, you know, targeting, you know, like gamers and you're not really interested. So you don't waste money. And these are all in the back office anyway. Yeah, or, they're uh, all in the back office. Ace, yeah. Just make sure you guys have activated um, your pixel. Um, the so columns sure. is what you want to do. So what it is is um, as long as you're running the ad, as long as you're running the ad, you know, more than more than eight days, that, that, that's, that's enough data. So it says here yeah, post comments. You've obviously got fifteen. The last one was check um, yesterday. So yesterday, this childcare ad has got two post comments, and each um, comment was two dollars and fifty nine cents. So some of us are running ads in five dollars a day, and sometimes it can cost you per post comment twenty six bucks. So that's why you guys get leads once or twice a month. I'll show you previous as well. I'm pretty sure I can show you previous as well. So this is how you know if you've got a good ad or not. This is the main one right here. So if you're if you're spending five bucks a day. 
and your each um, each comment is two dollars fifty. That's really good. You can scale that. So anything less than three bucks and three dollars and down, you can scale. Scale means that you know you duplicate it, and you know you put extra fifty cents, you put extra two dollars. You know what I mean? So you get more lead like that. But anything that costs you more than five dollars and up, you shut it down and just scrap it. It's just a waste of money. Unless you know you spend hundred bucks a day. Either way, people still tell you it's still a waste of money because you know some people. I know. Um, I know one of our ones actually dollar twenty a couple of days ago. So every single day it changes. But I know. Those last seven days. I know it's like a dollar twenty. I've seen it. This one is five bucks, but a couple of days ago it wasn't. So it always changes. Well, maybe, yeah, it will always change. The statistic mm -hmm. will always change. Sometimes you might find so that on the weekend. So yeah. This one we like, we shut it down. You know, I mean, like twenty eight dollars and eighty eight cents per post comment. This one's thirty one dollars. So you know. That means if you're, if you're spending five bucks, you're going to get five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So after five days, you're going to get one lead. Yeah, one, you know. It's way too much money to be able yeah. to spend. So like, as, you, as you can tell, you know, she only got one post comment. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when you guys are making your ads, make sure like you put mm -hmm. here the ages. The ages and you know, like when you started it. So you know if it's been enough, instead of you going into it and check what time you started, it makes, it makes life easier for you. Yeah. You know, more as it is, it's a conversion ad. What ages you're targeting and what day you started it. So instead of you going into one final, how, how long is it be running for? All this, all this stuff makes your life easy. You know, I mean, tracks, you know. And when you say something like this, $2 or, I don't know, this is, this is doing all right and it's charging $6.37. So I'm not going to shut that down because it's actually getting results. But anything that's three bucks or even four bucks and down, it's absolutely awesome. You know, if you, that's why I like to shut it, um, you should set it up like this, you know, like short ones, columns. And you know, it makes life easier for you to track, you know, track your shit like a pro. That's yeah. what you guys want to do. Now, when we say this, guys, you're not gonna understand this yeah, by the first go. You guys won't understand this the first go. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys want one on one with me and stuff, it's okay. We can jump on a one on one. What are columns? Okay, fourth um columns are basically hold up. Mute yourself, whoever that is. Harry, mute yourself. Uh, Sorry, missed, we've got you. We've you muted you. Okay, fourth, I'm going to show you what columns are. Basically, columns are these. These are columns. Yeah, so what you do is just neutral. You go, oh, you know, I'll put up the link again. I'm, I'll put We're going to put up the video again, and we want you guys to all activate this because yeah. we want you guys to track the right things. Yeah, so so they're columns. Instead of you wasting your money, you know? Yeah. So when I say you guys, okay, when you guys are putting up an ad, this is how you put up an ad. You write an ad story, you get me to check it. You get Abbas to check it, okay? And you get one person more, okay? Whether it be another percent team member, whatever the case may be, okay? You add a photo to it, and then you post it on your page. You season it, you season the shit out of it. And when I say season, mm -hmm. I like when you're being specific. When you say season, hold on. But don't forget the main chat. Yeah, but, oh, I know, I know. Okay? This is before you promote it. You don't boost posts. You don't boost ads. You just don't. Please don't. Well, you do. Of course you can. But not yeah. now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say the basics of this. Yeah. The basics, we don't boost posts. Yeah, no, but because some people do boost posts. But don't tell me, like, you can boost posts. Example, if you've got a content, like, you look, like let's say, like, we need to put up a content and just about our day or, you know, some kind of, any random content. Yeah. If you don't want it to throw out, throw it out for a dollar a day for seven days. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stuff like that. If it gets results and people actually... Engage with you guys, and then okay, then run on the ad. Yeah. But if you want you if you want you should to get out there, just spend a dollar a day on something that's you know that got you a lot of lot of results, a lot of interaction. Just throw it out there. Yeah. Boost it. Um yeah, so you season the shit out of it, okay? And then you throw a mini chat on it. Does anyone know what a mini chat is? No. All right, let me show you guys. I'm gonna jump on my page. Hey, why not? <laughs> Give me a sec, guys. So, so many chat is all you do is like you, like you go to um you start the many chat. Um, you, I have a video on my page, but I'm gonna give you guys an example of many chat. So Every so single person chat. here. So wait, wait, wait. I'm just gonna leave chat thing. Every single person here, reply to the many chat. Every single person here. Yeah. Fourth, twelve many chats for her to sign up. Fatima. Fatima, none. <laughs> Fatima was Abbas's first people. All right, no, no, no. I don't want you to open. Shit. Okay. For example. Hold up, hold up. Come on, come on, babe. 
Okay, so when someone comments on your ad, I'll show you, I'm just gonna scroll back up. Bear with me. Okay, so when someone comments on your ad, say for example, my call to action is comment success and I'll reach out to you. Once I comment success, you reply underneath their comment, hey, whatever the name is, I'll inbox you with an emoji. And then your manager, after you sign it up, will send them automatically after one, three, five million, yeah. whatever case may be, minutes. It depends on anyone set up. Well, I would set up hours to four minutes after I comment. Yeah, and so then, I send them that. Yeah. Hey, hey um, Nanoz, what's going on? you looking for change? The reason why I ask is to get an idea of where you're at. Knowing where you're at will allow me to help you as we move yeah. forward. So as soon as I reply, that many chat says, as long as she's replied, she's part of the data now. So that means every single week we send our broadcast, she will receive it. Okay. As long as they reply. So yeah. automatically you just, you know, pick up a button, I can move something, can write yeah. button, boom, So what, obviously this person, um, after a while, they dropped off the face of the earth. Mm. I'll show you. Cool. After, I call it, yeah. Um, dropped off the face of the earth. Now, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, These five. These are all miniatures. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, for example, hey, Nanos, are you still interested in making money online? Nice and brief. For example, so here you are, Sunday night, waiting and dreading the new week. Who's going to give you an earful tomorrow? You're thinking, someone remind me why I need this, why I need this job. I don't want to leave my warm yet seductive bed when it's freaking cold in the morning. You're, you're in a job you hate and there's no passion. And if there is, your body has given into gravity and time and your body's catching up to you. You don't want to wake up, and, you want to wake up to something new and exciting yet you don't know what it is that just yet. Here it is, a business opportunity that can give you all you want and more. Still interested? And usually they're like, yeah, man, whatever. And then it just re-sparks up leads. Now, if you don't know how to set up a mini chat, mm -hmm. if you, if you, and you have an ad out, please reach out to us because a mini chat is going to save you so much time. It takes 50 minutes. Takes also, 50 minutes. I, have a, I have a YouTube I've put video. It, um, yeah, I've, I've made a YouTube video how to make it. Okay, I'm so. just going to open up the chat. All right. Um... Better late than ever. Can we do a mini chat for my phones or do we need a laptop? Laptop? Um, my tablet does it. My laptop, no, but laptop, computer, sorry, your phone, Nana. It's restricted. It tells you, you know. Okay, you know. your phone's restricted. But if you, have a if you have a tablet, it does. The text is a bit, you know, it, you can't do it. It's possible. It's definitely possible. Okay. Laptop, laptop is better. You can do it on an iPad. You can do it on iPad? Okay, there you go. Even my tablet. iPad, but laptop, yeah, you can. Okay. Even my tablet as well, but my phone's a bit restricted. Okay. So um, that's what you do. So that's, that's basically it. And then what happens is you promote this ad, you target different age groups, whatever the case may be, depending on your ads. And then when you start to get leads, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get freaking bombarded because every single person here is going to resonate with so much different people. Okay. What do you do then? You got to learn how to speak to your leads. So again, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And I'm going to go take you guys to, this is where you find all the training, guys. If you're not added into this, there's something wrong. Please reach out to me. I probably forgot. Team Alpha Omega, please. If anyone's watching right now, is all part of this group? Is everyone part of this group? Say me in the chat, please. All right. You know what, just unmute yourself. Yeah. So you know where it says literally read this freaking shit. Sorry, <laughs> accident. <laughs> <laughs> all right so where it says read this post this is the pin post we are speaking about so if you don't know where to start in your personal development um journey this is what you always 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 come to this is okay how started. daily step to absolute absolute success mindset is key upon waking up meditation and visualization don't laugh yes we meditate reason being is yeah reason being why you meditate is because your mind how many thoughts a day do we have abbas well, well about one thousand negative thoughts a day and i'm pretty sure obviously one of you guys can obviously agree with that yeah so what meditation does is you know instead of you carrying your thoughts for 
the huge one. <laughs> for, oh, you know, for, for the next 48 hours. So what it is, I'll, I'll just set it off the computer and I'll like, oh, you're forced to put it together and you just recycle it. And of course, I'll recycle it and just empty it out. Next day, start again. And, and then you file away what room. you need. Yeah. Okay. So you honestly, you just, you know, like, even if you relax your rank for five minutes a day, you know, you're giving yourself a, you're giving your brain a rest for five minutes. Yeah. I know but David Wilkinson. Because subconscious mind doesn't doesn't ever stop even when you're sleeping. David Wilkinson meditates for like an hour, an hour and, and a half. half. An hour and a half. Yeah. Do not touch your phone upon waking. Reason being is because we always this is mm. our personal um, newspaper. This is what we look for for our newspaper. So what we look at the first thing in the day is how we shape our day. So if you see something like if you see something negative from the get go, your day's gonna be negative from the get go. Immediately. Yeah. That's why as soon as I get out of bed, everything's positive. You know, Brody says, I love money, love money loves me. I say, Allah loves, I love, Allah, Allah loves me. And, you know, I wake up really early to pray for God. Yep. Really, really early. Um, meditating, be grateful. So, I say, thank, thank you for this. Thank you for that. Read the magic. Um, and then this is like extra, like, you know, documentaries on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. Read books and listen to audios. And then this is what I say. R-E-A-D. Drop everything and read. Your success depends on how much you read and implement in your day-to-day -day life. If you want your bank account to change, your mindset has to change. And this is a reading list. The magic, think and grow rich, rich dad, poor dad, happy pocket full of money, 10x rule, exactly what to say. If you want to reply to these, this is the book. You are a badass and you are a badass at making money. Tools of Titans, a subtle art, I'm not giving a fuck. Unfuck yourself. How to win friends and influence people. Crushing it. And all these are motivational speakers that you can definitely listen to and gain some value from. Okay. This is in the Team Alpha Omega pin post. Please, if you guys haven't been added to that, let me know. Okay. You guys need to be added to that because that's where all, all that stuff happens. Okay. When you actually lost from where I was gonna speak. Hold up. I'm gonna read. So when you go down, there's actually some training videos in Brody's file 6A in six months that's going to teach you how to reply to leads. Okay. There's a Zoom call between Tiffany, David, and Brody. You get to see three different replies in the team meetings files. You get there's a there's a um, there's actually a Zoom meeting that us and the rest of the leaders went through all our different ways of replying to leads. You're not going to get it at the first go. It's completely fine. Not everyone signs up their first lead. It's okay. Not everyone signs up their tenth lead. It's okay. You guys have to find your law of averages and how you do it is by studying. It's okay because that figure there is 1.7 billion people on Facebook, so yeah. daily. So it doesn't really matter if you miss the first five or the first seven or the first ten. That figure there's 1.7 billion people daily. So exactly. So only about 10 out of that 1.7 billion. So yeah. it doesn't really matter. So does everyone have any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Harry, any questions, Harry? Unless you're professional. We can't Good evening. Yeah, we can hear you now. No questions at all. I'm just a silent. I'll just listen to everything. Cool. Congratulations, sir, on free A. Eh? Thanks a lot, Paul. Four years around the corner. Wahash. The corner. You, yeah, eight, you would get like, a good record. Huh? Eight hours to get a paperwork processed, world record. <laughs> I love it. As long as you beat me with something, I can do it. As long as you beat me with something. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll mute myself. Enjoy. <laughs> Congratulations on that. Does anyone have any questions? Because if you do, this is your chance to, ex like, you guys have us. We, we are professionals. Profe we are professionals. Are you struggling with anything, Zay? Anything that you're struggling with right now? I know you're the newest person so far. It's okay. Just do it the way you do. Okay, so if anyone doesn't have any questions, we're going to end this meeting. I'm going to stop recording.